Well, hello friends, neighbors. I'm John Rich Neighbor here. Welcome down the nook and welcome to Sunday. So we're going to do some samples. I've got a couple of big cast strength scotches, both from Andy. Thank you, sir. Uh, first, we're going to talk about this. It's release number two, Holland Park. Actually, about a year ago, I talked to you about this against a 20-year-old Glen Berge. But then we have this single cask uh, Highland Park, also cask strength, released, I believe, just in Alberta. Uh, and the color on that is wild. So, you know, if you have any um, cask strength scotch, I think it'd be better if you had a, a cask strength Highland Park, perhaps an Isla, although we know the peat here over in Orkney is a little different. Uh, I think that'd be great to sip along. Um, and we'll just share some thoughts. So pour some big scotch and come on back. Three, four. Well, thanks for coming back. As I was trying to say in the opener, you know, we've got a couple of big scotches here. We've got Highland Park uh, Cast Strength, release number two, and Highland Park Wild Rose. I'm gonna sip my way through them and just, just share with you what I'm getting off the flavors. I also brought water because last year when I tried this, and it's been a whole year since I've had a dram of this Cast Strength number two, I remember putting water on it was, was really, really helpful. I think, Sean, you also mentioned that uh, it made a difference for you too. So. Let's get into these. Um, the first one, as I said, Highland Park, uh, cast strength number two. And cast strength number two, uh, I remember just reading, almost everybody has the same paragraph, so it must have been a press release, but you know, that it's predominantly um, sherry seasoned European and American oak. So even though it's cast strength, it's actually a multiple uh, groupings of cast, uh, but there will be some portion of ex bourbon in here. And we'll get to color in a moment. I'd like to think it's natural color, I don't know that, but it's significantly lighter than the single cask Wild Rose, which is just uh, an ex Sherry Hogshead, I believe. Anyways, let's get in on this cask strength number two Highland Park on the nose. Oh, that's a really nice interplay of some berry fruits, some jams, and I am getting some light toffees and some sweetness that could be from an ex-bourbon. Pete is way in the background. Really, it's a light smoke and a more of an earthiness. The nose for me speaks sherried, a little bit of must, um, oak, um, some ground, uh, you know, background, slight oil, slight nut. There we go. Now some of that peat's kind of making itself known, but still, still in a in a musty, earthy barn floor type way. Not, not in a drift fire campfire yet. Let's try this. Uh, I think what did I say? Sixty three point nine percent. I should look. Yep, sixty three point nine percent. Slancha. Well, I I took a pretty big sip on that one and. That might be a challenge because it really challenged my palate. Now I'm getting, um, you know, roasted pears, sweet honeys, but I also get now definitely smokiness, light fusel oil, just a little bit, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of tar. I'm going on with that sweet roasted pear, um, almond. Did I say that already? Yeah, I'm surprised how the nose led me into some berries and some red fruits, but the palate is leading me more into um, candied roasted fruits, stewed fruits. Um, you know, I come from a background that has this uh, sort of a fruit compote that you make on holidays where it's it's like plums and prunes and, and, and pears and whatever else all just cooked up in almost like a soup and it tastes like that. There's a lot of fruit in that smoky darkness. Mm. Another quick sip. Sancha. I'm going to stay with that. It's a little sweeter now, coats really well, slight salt, um, but a really nice dram. We'll try it a bit later with water. So for me, the main star of today, that's great. Uh, actually, I'm really looking forward to trying this 
wild rose. So this is a little bit higher, 65, 65.8%. Oh, I've got this bag. Here, maybe I'll hold it up so you can see it. Andy, uh, let me have the bag. It's almost like I got the bottle, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think it was only released in Alberta. It's 12 years old. It's a single cask. No, I can't hang it anywhere. Um, and and it's I think it, it came entirely from a sherry hogshead. It's much darker than this cast strength number two, a little bit higher percentage. It has an age stamp of 12 years, whereas the, the number two cast strength doesn't give us an age stamp at all. So I've got age, I've got, you know, I went online and there is, you can still get this, but this I think is long sold out, but I'm gonna give it a try on the nose. It is a much darker cherry chocolate nose. Yeah, this has more elements of other fruits and a little more toffees. Yeah, for me, certainly whether it's color or whatever might be pulling me in there, my nose is saying it's a darker kind of a, a, a red cherry with some dark chocolates and a bit of espresso coffee. Let's try this Wild Rose Highland Park single cask on the palate. Slancha. So much more sherry for me. And it's got that old musty sherry that I get sometimes. That leather cherry, tobacco, musty bookshelf. Um, there's a bit more spicing actually on it, which is interesting. A little more peppering. Um, so even though it's got an age stamp, so likely older than this, it's it's got more pepper, more spice, and just tons of that dark brooding tobacco leathered sherry um a lot more sherry for me on the palate another quick sip and then i'm going to try them both with water now the second sip did pull in some of the essential malt that i was getting here which i would suggest is that sort of that pear sweetness um but it stays just on point as a full sherry dram this is a cigar dram i suggest it's got so many of those dark rich notes that i think would pair so well with tobacco and spicing and, and some of that smoke. Let's try these both with water. So I put a, a decent splash of water in both of them. I didn't actually do it scientifically to tell you what the proof is, but you know, a, about a teaspoon of water. So they've been, they've been watered down. Uh, much more almost toasted oak and almond in the nose on the palate, Slancha. Yep, honeycomb, more malt sugars, um, walnuts actually quite a bit of nut coming around in here um the fruit's still more orchard and less sherry so the wild rose uh single cask that came in this beautiful bag thank you andy with some water ah uh, the fruits have lightened a little bit so we've got a, a variety of orchard with lots of red berry in there still straight on the palate sancha full sherry in a dark chocolate bar lots of chocolate for me coating so well much more peppering and spicing than this one like just nice punchy um, both of them of course for me the peat leads into an earthy i said earlier like a slight fuel not a, not too far but but it's more that kind of smoky earthy um this one because of its heavy sherry stays musty and and tobacco-y, this one, uh, just a little salty, um, that kind of thing. Actually, I find both of them a little more broody than I usually get from Highland Park. Um, and water brings out uh, the lighter sweetness and, and the broader fruit palettes. I like the Highland Park cast strength number two with water. There's something about the full darkness that this wild rose is. Uh, that I kind of like smaller sips without the water. I think I'd rather play around with that. What a treat. Andy, these are fantastic. Uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, online in Alberta, this is cast strength number two is still available. Somewhere in that $140 range Canadian, which is a fair amount, but cast strength Highland Park is pretty good. This Wild Rose, I found it on websites, but they're out of stock and it's somewhere on that $230 uh, range. And it for my palate like this is better than this cast it is it a hundred bucks better i i don't want to make that call do i want to say this is fantastic yeah if for some reason this is sitting on a shelf and you're a highland park fan 
specifically, you really lean into that smoked sherry. I, I just really recommend this one. This one's a banger for me. It's a sample. I tried it for the first time with you. If there's a wave of bitterness coming, well, maybe that'll come when I edit the video. But for me and my palate, man, this Wild Rose is a cracker. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you guys for joining me here. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend or had a good weekend and that the work week, well, is good. You take care.